start with a video, but first we're going to look back here. Let's look back at everybody on Facebook. Say hi, Facebook hi, friends. Hi, Facebook friends and YouTubers, because it'll be on YouTube later. And if you all ever cannot make it to the library because you're not feeling well, you can be a Facebook friend at home by yes. zooming in. And you can watch us live on Facebook if you ever can't make it. That's yeah. right. So we are in Paris. What state? Texas. Texas, Paris, Texas, a Paris Public Library. And it's already mid-January. How did that happen? The year's already going so fast. So how did you guys like the storm that we had on Saturday with all that blowing snow? Did you like it? I didn't like it. I was like, oh no. You liked it? Did you guys go play out in the snow? Like that because then it got warm and the sun came out and it all melted. I was like, oh, I'm so glad it melted. But I grew up in the snow, so I got to play in it a lot and go snowmobiling and build snowmen and snow forts and do all that stuff that you guys haven't gotten to do because we don't get much snow here. So I was like really excited for all of you and all the other little kids that I know in our community. I was like so excited to see the snow hoping you guys would be able to play in it and mm -hmm. feel it and roll in it and all that fun stuff. So. I built some. You did? Yeah, I built that Oh, I love it. Well, I'm glad you got to see a little bit of snow this winter. And we are going to do a video about a snowman. It's just a really sweet, cute video that I wanted to share with you guys, okay? My wife has never seen Wow. Ever. So when I showed her a video, it's snowing in Texas. Wow. She's like, oh, I don't need to be there. <laughs> yeah, we need to experience Maybe it. Maybe next year. We just had snow on Saturday, and I want to do a snowman book with you. Wasn't he cute? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he came to life when the snowflake hit his hat on his head. Came to life. Okay. So we are going to read about all you need for a snowman. Have you guys heard? 
heard or read this book before? No, I haven't. You haven't? Well, it's by Alice Shirtle. Me, She's the person who wrote the story, the author. Me, me and the illustrator, what does an illustrator do? The author does that out too. <laughs> That's a big word, illustrator. What does an illustrator do? If the author comes up with the story and writes the story, like what does the illustrator do? Like what else do we need besides words? What does the illustrator do? Pictures. We need pictures, right? Uh -huh. So the illustrator is the one that draws the picture. Sometimes they draw it. Sometimes they paint it. They can use all different kinds of things to make the pictures, right? So the illustrator for this is Barbara Lavely. But some, but some need to be right. And sometimes you use photography in books, right? Let's see what happens. All you need for a snowman. So they are playing in the snow. A snowman they oh, did. Snowflakes. Pretty. There's a bunch of kids. These could be you guys. All of you are in the book. One small snowflake fluttering down. That's all you need for a snowman, right? One small snowflake, except two more snowflakes, three flakes, four, five, six, seven thousand, eight million more. No. Millions of snowflakes falling because they're tiny. And just think when you get, get inches of snow, that's a lot of snowflakes. Millions more. Billions of snowflakes piled in a mound, patch them and pack them and roll them around. Ooh, look at this big one. Into one big fall. And a snowflake. One big fall. <laughs> and that's all. This is all you need, right? One big, cold, well rolled snowflake ball. That's all you need for a snowman, right? No. Except you need a middle sized ball and a small one. The small one on top. You need a hat. You also need a hat. Hmm. A short flat hat or a tall colorful hat. It's a colorful hat. Rainbow hat. You guys would put the rainbow hat on? Let's see what they do. Oh, they use the short flat hat. So look at big ball, a little bit smaller and smaller. Three hand packed triple stack balls of snow with a hat on top where a hat should go. That's all you need for a snowman, right? You guys are so smart. Except for, let's see what else we need. Oh, they're using a couple of bottle caps, round and flat. Stick them under a snowman's hat. Surprise! A snowman's eyes. That's all you need for a snowman's face, right? No! No! But, look at that. What's in the middle? An empty space. That's the place where the carrot goes, if you use a carrot as a snowman's nose. <laughs> yeah, we need you a might mouth. use something else. Why don't they put a mouth on them? <sighs> Look at their play all over. Oh, what about clothes? Ooh, clothes. Walnut buttons, five in a row. A belt in the middle, boots below. A big wool scarf, a broom to hold, mittens in case his hands get cold, earmuffs, a fanny pack, <laughs> and something to read. That's absolutely all you need for a snowman. That's a lot of stuff. Let's see what he looks like. Wow, look at that. That's great. All those things that we mentioned are on here. Walnut buttons. He has a belt. Oh, there's the cool fanny pack. Hey, he he has something to read right here. But he needs a mouth. I know he doesn't have 
have a mouth. I know, let's turn the page and find out. Uh-oh, look at the sky. One small snowflake falling. More, more, more snow. One is falling, then soft white snowflakes filling the sky, floating down everywhere, piling high. And what are they doing? Here he is, and he's getting piled with snow, all the snow that's falling on him. And they're making another one. I wonder what that one's going to look like. All of the snow is piling high. Look at that guy. And that's all you need for a snowman's friend. Look at that guy. Looks like he's going skiing. And he has a mustache. <laughs> that's funny. He's wearing goggles.
So we oh, are we going to, to watch with our foot. Try to get them with our foot. <laughs> yeah. Try to get them with our foot. Yay! There's a Kleenex. He got him. With his foot. Yay, Tim! <laughs> now we will land on our head. <laughs> okay, so we're going to watch these two videos about penguins. First one has no words. Just kind of watch and walk around. Yes. See what they do. Do they 
sleep with you? Are they like stuffed animal spiders? Or real ones? No. Oh, not real ones. Thank goodness. Yeah, I we have one bug and I killed it. Oh, you had a bug and you killed it? <laughs> okay. Well, this is actually a stuffed animal, and the child in this book is it's their favorite stuffed animal. Oh, my goodness. Mine. This is called I Am Pengu the Penguin, and this is written by a lady who lived and grew up in Japan, but then she moved to Paris, France. Not Paris, Texas. She moved to Paris, France. And her name is Satomi Ichikawa. That is the person that made up this story and drew the pictures. Do you guys want to see what happens to Pengu the Penguin? Yeah. Yeah. He's cute. There he is. I love Danny. So he's talking. The penguin's talking. I love Danny, and Danny loves me. Danny and I have been best friends ever since he was a baby. I bet you guys have stuffed animals since you were a baby. We always play together, eat together, and sleep together. That. There they are, doing all these different things. What we love is going to the Central Park Children's Zoo together. Ooh, look at that. What are they looking at? Grandma takes us every Saturday. We especially love to watch the penguins swimming. They're swimming and then they jump up and up to the rocks. Yeah, so there's Danny, the boy, and he's holding up this stuffed animal. They're at the zoo. Ooh, what do you think is happening in this picture? They're doing party. They're having a party? Hmm. One day, many people come over to Grandma's house. Grandma comes, and everyone eats and sings, Happy Birthday, Danny! Danny is so busy that I hide behind the chair. And I have to peek around to see what they're doing. They're so busy. They're so busy having a party. In the evening, Danny goes to bed holding all of his brand new animals in his arms. Look at where he is. Oh, Danny, what about me? But he forgets me. He has all those brand new stuffed animals. For the first time in my life, I spend a dark night alone behind the chair. Oh, thank you. Let's see what he does. I wake up in the morning. I am still alone. I am certain that Danny doesn't love me anymore, so I feel sad. Wait, I am a penguin. There are penguins in the zoo. Maybe I belong with them. No. Why do you think he doesn't belong with them? Because he's so penguin. You guys are so smart. But there he goes, out the window. Oh, man. Plop. There he goes out the window. I slip away through the window. I am going to see the penguins. Absolutely. So he jumped down, and there he goes. What if you guys saw a stuffed animal walking down the street? That only happens in books, right? That's cool. Yeah, this is him coming down, and then there he goes. It's the same guy. There's going down the stairs. You're right. I finally arrive at the zoo. But where are the penguins? I can't remember. Then I hear music. I know where the music is coming from. I wonder. Oh, look at this big clock with these animals on it. It is. From the animals on the clock tower, that is where the music is coming from. Are you looking for someone? 
There's the penguin talking to him. These are just statues, but they're talking. The penguin statue. Oh, yes, there's a penguin statue. He will know the answer to my question. Yes, I'm looking for the penguins. They're right over there, he says. And say hello to them for me. So this guy said they're right over there. Look what he found. I go straight there. Here they are, penguins just like me. There he is. There's Pengu down there, thinking this is where I belong. These are the penguins just like me. But they're not really just like him, right? No. Not quite. Let's see what happened. From the other side of the window, the penguins swim to see me. Hello, I say to them, I am Pengu, the penguin. You are a penguin? You do not look like us, one of them says. Do you like living in the cold? No, I say. Do you like to eat fish? Never, I say. Do you swim? I shake my head, no. I do not swim. So the penguins swim away, they swim away gracefully. I am sure I don't know how to swim like they do. I cannot be along with them. But if I don't belong with them, where do I belong? I am alone again, and nobody loves me. We love him. Suddenly, I hear a voice calling my name. It's Danny and Grandma. Oh, Pengu, I looked everywhere for you. Grandma thought you would come here, and she was right. I'm so glad I found you. Yay! I love you, Pengu. Don't ever go away again. Oh, he came looking for Pengu. See, he was missed. Danny loves him. Grandma thought maybe he went to see the penguins, and she was right. I hear music from the clock tower. There's the animals again. The clock tower. The one penguin called out, did you find what you were looking for? And he said, yes, I did. He realized that Danny loves him, right? I know. Hey, guys, there's... Yes, I found what I was looking for. Tonight, Danny holds me tight in his arms when he goes to bed. And me, I am happy. I know just where I belong. See him there? There's all his new toys he got at his birthday party. But there's Pangu. Nice and snug. He loves him. He does. And what do we say when the story is over? for you and it's a counting video. What do you think ha it has on the counting video? <laughs> Penguins! Okay, so you guys can stand up. Stand up and stretch. And this is going to be our last video for today. Okay, we're going to do count again. Okay, we're going to 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 count again. We're even going to count backwards on this video. Ten. Backward. Yes. So, you guys, help us count, okay? Here we go. Here we go with the cute penguins. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> Two. 
going to do our circle and sing before you leave. But I want to make sure you guys know that our Valentine's party we're having February 8th at 6 p.m. So it's after school and after you have maybe your family dinner. You can come here to this room and have a Valentine's party with us, okay? So this is on a purple flyer if you need to grab a purple flyer. Yep, school. Okay. Saturday, coming up this Saturday, is our Read With Me program. We do it once a month. And this is the Saturday that we're doing it. So you can come and read with Zola, the black lab therapy dog, or you can read with me. And they are certified registered therapy dogs that you can come and read with on Saturday. And there still are a few spaces left. You can sign up over by my desk, okay? Even if you can't read, you can show the yes. dog the pictures. Yes, the Describe what you see. Yes. The dogs are all awesome Yes. Penelope did? Is that your dog? Yeah, no, no, <laughs> Okay, so this is for older kids that are ages 8 through 13. So you parents that have older children between those ages, I am having a workshop in this room with the PJC Drama and Theater Department. So they will be here on Tuesdays in February. And this information is also on a flyer out by my desk. So Tell your friends, so your yes. cousins, your older brother, your older sisters. So, oh, don't forget, don't forget, kids read free. <laughs> no fines on your late fees. If you're black, so if you check something out and you forget to bring it back, yeah. it's okay. Just bring it back. No fees for you all. Yes. Thank you, Tim, for that, for sure. And there we are. We're in a circle. So let's get in a big circle oh, today. Look at all our library friends. Wow. Today. Facebook friends. We have a lot of kids. A lot of kids today. Make sure you turn around. There we go.